Uh, well, Ron, take us through the, the thought process on making this deal and how did it come together? Yeah, I know. We, obviously, we've been struggling to score some goals lately. So uh, we're looking at that. I had a conversation with Patrick the other day, and Daniel's name came up. Obviously, with us, um, you know, he had a good season, scored 20 with us, scored 18 last year. So um, knows our, our team, our locker room, and uh, we thought it was uh, a low-risk gamble to give him a shot. He's moved around the league quite a lot. Um, why do you think that is? Why hasn't he found a long-term home, especially considering he has had that offensive success for a couple seasons now? Yeah, I don't know. Everybody's kind of different. Um, you know, I know when we first got him, kind of took a little while to get to know him and sort of build that trust and relationship. I think uh, even when he, he left, it wasn't like he left on bad terms with us. It was basically coming off of 20 goals and, and playing on our fourth line. We didn't have the, the money to pay him at that point. So we said, go and test the market and good for him. He ended up getting a couple million dollars and um, that's why we couldn't keep him. It wasn't anything, anything else. So uh, with our locker room, the guys are excited and, and happy to have him back. Obviously, we've seen what Sprong can do for the Kraken, but the 2022-23 roster was very different. Was it a very different look for this team? Um, what skills does he possess that makes this acquisition necessary for this offense as it exists today? Well, I mean, his, his strong suit is he, he can skate. Um, you know, he can create things on his own sometimes, uh, goals and stuff, which is good. And, and he's got a great shot. Um, and he can he can score on a power play from a distance, which is uh, good too. So all those things uh, right now were... Um, you know, we're not playing the way we're, we think we're capable of playing, and we're trying to find our game, and hopefully this gives us a little jolt to get things going in the right direction quick. Good to see you, Ron. Good that you jolt you mentioned, obviously, can come from his offensive firepower that we've seen here in town, but how much can it provide maybe a jolt in the sense of the atmosphere in the locker room, bringing a new guy <clears> in that they already know, that from the standpoint of making a trade, the energy that comes with it, how much can that help? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, you know, talking to our, our team services guy, the guys, you know, he's in the locker room. We're excited to have, have Daniel uh, coming back. So that's, that's good to hear. Um, you know, I think hopefully guys realize it's another guy fighting for a spot in the roster and, and uh, you know, we get other guys to sort of pick their game up a little bit and, and get going in the right direction as well. When, when, do you, yeah, there we go. when do you expect him to actually get here and, and start skating with the team? Um, we have to get the visa uh, process in place, so we're working through that right now. We'll get the documents out uh, tonight. Um, unfortunately, Monday is a holiday, so uh, then we'll get there till Tuesday. We'll ask for uh, expedited uh, process. So, um, you know, I would say the earliest, maybe Thursday, but uh, hopefully by the weekend. Okay, um, and then the cap situation also that this kind of adds to, right? When when it is time for Vince Dum to come back. It adds a little bit of the cap crunch there, and I know you can go with the 20-man roster. That forces some other choices, but kind of what's your read on the cap situation going forward now? Yeah, no, I mean, we've got some time here before Vince comes back, unfortunately. So, um, you know, we'll take that time and, and see what our, our roster is doing. And, and uh, But, yeah, we have some decisions we're going to have to make once he's ready to come off the, uh, the LTI for sure. Hey, Ron, I know you've been through this as a player when your team has a drought. Anything you're seeing or what's, what's been your take the last half dozen games or so? Um, you know, I don't think we're skating the way we're capable of skating, and I don't think we're managing the puck uh, the way we, we can. Um, some of that may be, you know, the days on the road and not practicing enough, but, um, you know, we got to get back to playing the way we're capable of playing. Our, our strength is our speed and our pressure, and, uh, you know, we haven't been doing that lately, so we, we got to find a way to get that back in our game. Thanks. Anyone else? Thanks, Ron. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Thank you.